Quaker. And small forward, Rui Hachimura. At shooting guard, Austin Reed. At the other guard position, D'Angelo Russell. At center, Anthony Davis. At the other forward position, LeBron James. The head coach of the visiting team is Darvin Ham. Let's make the starters for your Orlando Magic. At guard, 6'4", number 14, Gary Harris. At center, 6'10", number 34, Wendell Carter, Jr. At guard, 6'4", number 4, Jalen Sun. At forward, 6'10", number 22, Ron Wagner. At forward, 6'10", number 5, Paolo Vancero. The head coach of your home team, Fans, let's hear it for your Orlando Magic. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight David Aldridge. And now the Lakers starting group at the guard positions. Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in its small forward. And for Orlando, filling the perimeter slots, it's Harris and Wagner. And Caro and Carter make up the inside pair. And it's Suggs in at the point. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. Passes it to Hachimura. Back to James. Count it good. LeBron well, you can James. see the eagerness to contribute from Rui Hachimura. Finds the open man willing to facilitate. And you know, Doris, the Magic have struggled offensively in the past few seasons. You are right, Kevin. The numbers on that end haven't been pretty. But let's remember, they've got some of the best young talent in the league. The more experience they get, the better they become. The future is bright. LeBron James. Break here he is, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft. Paolo Bancaro. And the top pick because he's a 6'10 playmaker. Bancaro has a tremendous feel for the game. Great vision, passing it and endless potential offensively. That free throw, good from Bancaro. And on paper, Paolo Bancaro has so many appealing attributes. Uh, his size, build, the ability to find shots. You can easily see why scouts were enamored with this guy as a prospect. And plenty of contact on the shot, so two free throws coming up. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Lakers shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. Line for two. First one falls for. And to me, the ceiling that D'Angelo Russell has is really high. This guy is dynamic. He's confident. He can score it. And he's just going to continue to want to prove himself. And so Russell hits them both. Here's Suggs. 
Here's the pass to Wagner. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. And Harris wide open. He shoots off target with his three. And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. Moves back up. And finished off by Davis. And this is just A.D. doing what A.D. does. Dominating the defense there and converting. First quarter just over a minute played. They double him with Russell. Down low. Carter. And then Carter with the dunk. And although an undersized center, more than making up for it with some serious hops. Here's Davis. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Carter. Magic have gone two or three here to start off the game. Here's Ben Carroll. And finished off by Ben Carroll. When Ben Carroll gets in tight, that's how he likes to finish. No layups for this big guy. He's all about the finish. Here's Wagner. They get it again. And it's Suggs missing. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Davis, the pass to Reeves. That's in there. Austin Davis Reeves. with the assist. And I like Davis's decision making. Fantastic. Always great at understanding when to move the ball. And finished off by Van Carroll. Flies back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Hachimura against Wagner. James in the post. Pass to Davis. It's hauled in by the Magic. Pass to Wagner. Carter down low. Davis is on it. Carter kicks to Wagner. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Here's James. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, whacking James like the D does there is the right move. I mean, especially when you consider how strong he is. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Magic. How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another, and that can be infectious. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work in down low. So we can't get either to fall. What's remarkable about LeBron is the complete command of the game. Not only this team, but you'll hear opponents joke about how well he knows their plays. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. And he's not going to pass up on chances like that. Even with just a sliver of daylight, he can get to the rim. Here's Wagner. Quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Carter with the bucket. I see the strength. Carter Jr., excellent job fighting off the contact. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. It's time for Leisure. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group. Wagner's checked in for Carter. Joe Ingles comes in for Wagner. Markel Fultz is checked in for Gary Harris. And Anthony subbed in for Jalen Sutton. And now running up the court, Ingles pushing it up. Feeds it to Van Carroll. The shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Van Carroll's got 11 points. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. It's stolen by Ingles. Van Carroll outside. Anthony with it. Poke loose. Two minutes. Here's Vincent. Doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Anthony. Here's Vincent. He dishes it to Hayes. 
and he banks in the lane. And it really has been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And with Dinwiddie on the court, Doris, they've got a pretty good facilitator out there. I think it's probably one of his more underrated qualities, to be honest, Kevin. Spencer obviously can handle it, he can distribute it, and he can keep an offense running smoothly. Most often we associate this guy with scoring, but don't sleep on his passing skills. And they're moving it up. And here we go. And finished off by Ben Carroll. And this is what everyone wants to see. Boncaro is attacking without hesitation on the offensive end. Here's Rush. Good work defensively by Engel. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. The Lakers with the ball. Paolo Bancaro unable to get his last shot to go in. A shot by Reddish, no good. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. So you have to stay with the play when you feel contact because you get a chance for maybe a three-point play. In this opportunity, free throw coming for Mr. Cole Anthony. First trip to the line for him here. First free throw is good. Cole Anthony, a guy who has just tremendous feel for the game. He's obviously been around it from the time he was very young. Just understands where the ball should be at all times. Good passer, aggressive scorer. And both free throws good for Anthony. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him and he keeps making them. Isaac with the steal. Ingles drops it in from 14 feet away. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. The guys are making their shots. That's critical. And so it's the Orlando Magic up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We'll return shortly. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Guys, we've seen the Magic really take control here. Playing inside out in that first quarter led to some high percentage shots in the paint. It is great that you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game. Taking a look at the Lakers. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves, and it's Hachimura in at the three. Davis inside. He's covered by Isaac, and it's Davis missing. Orlando leading by 14, and with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, there's a lot of pressure that comes with being the number one overall pick in the draft, but... Paolo Bencaro said, I'm just letting the game come to me. Not trying to press or reach a certain statistical milestone. Just making the right plays, taking the right shots, competing, and bringing it every day on defense. Kevin, he thinks that approach is paying off. Ah, uh, David, it sure is. Thank you for the report. To the left side wing. No one near fault as he lets it go. And again, it's the magic from deep. Coaches say, G.A., the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. But for any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it. And that's what we do in life normally, right? Isaac misses. 
And it's Davis with the ball for Los Angeles. 17-point game. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. LeBron James leads by contributing in so many different areas. That time, a big offensive rebound. Magic have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Suggs with the ball. Russell's there and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Yeah, and I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. Blacks checked in for Orlando. Outside, Russell. James against Isaac. Nice shot by James. LeBron's got eight points. Well, it's simply going to take more of an effort than that to deter LeBron James. The strength and the skill set are overpowering. To the inside, Isaac. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Inside. James with some nice D. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. And Davis shoots a high percentage because he's so adept at playing to his strength. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. They get a hand on it. They double him with Russell. Isaac outside to the middle. Here's Carter. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Wagner passes to Carter. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. We've seen this from Wagner over and over. This guy understands when a man is open. He's got the timing and the touch to make the pass. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And you can see what he wanted to do there, but that was a tough giveaway. And I think the intention doesn't always equal the result. Wrong play, wrong time. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Mo Wagner's checked in for Wendell Carter. Joe Ingles comes in for Franz Wagner. And it's Gary Harris in for Jalen Suggs. Lack the pass to Isaac. Here's Wagner. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And there's the drive. Lays it up off the glass. Davis has got eight points. Yeah, the added muscle Davis has put on, helping him on these tough finishes. Flexing on him there. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Russell. Orlando making some changes. Paulo Banqueros checked in for Isaac. And Anthony subbed in for Black. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Hayes is checked in for Anthony Davis. Reddish comes in for Rui Hachimura. Dinwiddie is checked in for Austin Reed. And it's Gabe Vincent in for D'Angelo Russell. In the first half, two minutes. Outside Anthony, and there's the defensive three-second call. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And that 82% free throw percentage this season must have him feeling pretty good about himself at the line. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. What you love about Joe Ingles is he's going to give you a little bit of everything. He can score it, he can pass it, he can board it, and he can guard. Whatever you need, he's going to bring it. Here's Anthony, and that one is good. And the Magic lead by 16. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Well, just tremendous composure on the interior. Read the defense, take advantage of the situation, and deliver. Now, here's Ingles. Guarded by Reddish. Outside Anthony. This one for three. The shot's good on the assist by Ingles. Ingles has got three assists now in this one. You love Cole Anthony's attitude. So confident, so willing to fire on the catch. To the left wing. 
Now, here's Reddish. He's guarded closer. Six on the shot clock. Vincent, the pass to Hayes. Ingles with the rebound. Magic leading by 17. Down low. Here's Wagner. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. I'm telling you this. If you leave one of Ingles' teammates open, Joe is going to find him. And so it's Prince with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. Here's Vincent. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Cole Anthony. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. A free throw drops for Vincent. The Magic making a switch here. Fultz is checked in. He hits both from the strike. 29 seconds left here in the second. Outside Anthony. Over in the corner, Fultz. Wagner outside. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Wagner's got five points now this quarter. Well, Mo Wagner, a legit threat from deep. This guy's so good at pulling the trigger when you give him an opportunity. And here's Bancaro, and there's the foul. And it's on Torian Prince. That is his first foul of the game. A wide open look here for Ingle. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Orlando out in front, running away with this one. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. Out in front of the half is Orlando. They are in blowout territory, leading by 20. Kenny, give us your take. They're getting a lot out of their bench, a lot. For the most part, opponents game plan is to take away the starting. But then, when your second unit comes in and plays with this type of intensity and sports in the net, you've created a whole new problem for the other team. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. The shooting percentage they allow was through the roof. The coach should absolutely be ripping into the defensive end. He would take some pride on the other end. Just lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You know, Paolo Bancaro, guys, has been exceptional. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. It felt like his work on the interior really gave this offense a boost. Let's see if he can dominate the rest of the way. Filling the perimeter slots, it's Harrison Wagner. Joe Ingles is out there with Wendell Clark. And it sucks in at the point guard position. That's the group starting the second half for Jamal Mosley. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. The Orlando Magic is rolling out with some long and rangy athletes. They've got some size and the foundations of an identity. One scout recently said, everyone talks about playing positionless basketball, but they're the only ones who have really said, what the heck, let's do it. Kevin? <laughs> They've got a type, don't they, David? Thank you. And James drills them both. Magic leading by 20. 
Suggs with the ball. Picked up by Davis. A two-way star, AD, has led the league in shot blocking on multiple occasions. And Carroll's check in for Joe Ingles. Lakers trail by 20. Russell dishes to Davis. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And it's Harris off the drive. And slam dunk by Harris. Tremendous read by Gary Harris. You see the gap, you attack it. Edor's talking about the young Franz Wagner. He's already proven how valuable he is. Oh, Kevin, there's no doubt. For Wagner, this is a swing man who does a little bit of everything. He can shoot it. He can put it on the deck. He can make his teammates look good. A uh, scorer from all three levels. There is not a lot to pick at where Franz Wagner is concerned. Right wing. Now, here is Russell. He's guarded closely. Orlando leading by 20. 90 seconds now into the second half. It's it alive. And Carter with his second chance point. Carter's got 12 in the game. Let's remember, Wendell Carter Jr. is a force on the offensive glass. Use that height, use that athleticism, young sir. You know, far hard from start to finish on that play. Defended the shot and then finished it off with the rebound. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Suggs and Davis sends it back. And it's Suggs with the rebound. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Wagner and the rejection by LeBron. That size and length and strength. LeBron, a tough one to try to shoot over. To the inside, here's Davis, and he makes good on the layup. Davis has got four this quarter. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Up top, Hachimura. LeBron outside. It's hauled in by the Magic. And Carroll's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Unloads from 13. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Oh, good to see that Bancaro has options. If he can't penetrate, your game has to be multifaceted in the league. And the Lakers call time here. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for Van Gerwen. Fultz comes in for Gary Harris. And Black's subbed in for Jalen Sub. And some changes here for the Lakers. Torian Prince, he's checked in for LeBron. And Vincent subbed in for D'Angelo Russell. Left side, Davis. Good work defensively by Carter. Orlando's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the free ball here. And it's Wagner missing. The Lakers shooting for the game at 42%. Here's Reeves, guarded by Fultz. Here's Davis. Isaac with some nice D. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for Orlando. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Can we remember this guy is six foot ten? So if he's in position, turn the lights out. Outside, Davis. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Davis has got six in the quarter. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Magic have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6-13 from the field here in the third. 
from 13, and Davis sends it back, and they get it back. That's good from Fultz on the assist by Isaac. Isaac's got four assists now tonight. Whenever Fultz is in a catch-and-shoot situation, you know he can't wait for that ball to find his hands. Vincent misses. Orlando's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Black. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Makes up for a lack of speed with just tremendous effort and hustle on that play. Tipped away. Isaac with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Fultz has got it. And the basket by Isaac. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Magic. And they've shown great focus on the defensive end, putting constant pressure on the ball and really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. And they've also been scoring on the break. With how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court, any time you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. And Isaac throws it down. And a little wind up and strong <laughs> follow through on the one hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. Here's Davis. Passes to Reeves. The dish now to Prince. Poked away. Isaac with the steal. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And the call will be against Gabe Vincent. That's his first foul. So for the Magic, Mo Wagner's checked in for Carter. Joe Ingles comes in for Franz Wagner. And Anthony subbed in for Black. The Lakers also changing it up. Jackson Hayes comes in for Davis. And it's Reddish in for Hachimura. Twenty-three seconds left to play in the third. And the shot goes in from Fultz. Well, terrific to see Markel Fultz knock it down, looking more and more assertive in the mid-range. Prince. And nothing is falling for him right now. He takes it in and finished off by Fultz. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And, and ever since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. I got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. And so it's the Orlando Magic with a major 39-point lead here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back right after this. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Lakers shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. So for the Lakers right now, he is out there with James. Then it's Reddish, and it's Mays in at the one spot. And the pass to Fultz from deep, and James pulls it down. LeBron's got four rebounds now tonight. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. LeBron James always ready to sacrifice for the play. Absorbs the contact, draws the foul, gets the shot off. LeBron James, two shots. Free throw good, LeBron. The Magic making a switch here. And James drills them both. Orlando's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Inside, there's Bitaze. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Well, we know Markel Fultz can get cooking on the offensive end, but his responsibility to get the guys around him involved, nicely done. Here's Reddish. And Carroll inside, working on James. What a masterful job on the defensive end. Did everything possible to alter that shot. Dinwiddie passes to James. 
It's stolen by Fultz. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotion. Black's checked in for the Magic. Black. The Magic have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. And the foul on Cam Reddish. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Here's Ingles, and that one is stuck right through. Let's remember, this guy is six foot eight. Joe Ingles, a threat to throw it down. Here's Mays. Black grabs the board. Magic have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Cranes the three while he's being fouled, and he might be able to make this a four-point play. You know, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking the three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. Lakers have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Mays passes to James. That one's off, still out of sync. And here's Van Carroll. He'll bring it up for the Magic. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Well, this is what he does. Find ways to make his presence felt, and this time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. And the Lakers making a change here. Hachimura is checked in. On the free throw, no good. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting around 36%. They're just not able to finish consistently. And it's blocked. And when Boncaro turns it up, he can be a factor at the defensive end. Here's Black. Here's Ben Kill. And finished off by Ben Carroll. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Reddish. Black grabs the board. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. And powering it home. He ends a 12-0 run by Orlando. And so it looks like the Magic will retain possession here. The Magic making a switch here. Wagner's checked in. And the Lakers also making a change. Russell's checked in. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. Here's Black, pass to Bitadze. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And he uses the glass on the way. Well, so great when your offense produces a shot that close to the rim. The rest of the work becomes easier. And there's the foul. It'll go on Joe Ingles. That is his first foul of the game for the Magic. And Del Carter comes in for Goga Bitadze. And it's Gary Harris in for Joe Ingles. Torian Prince, he's checked in for the Lakers. Gabe Vincent comes in for D'Angelo Russell. It's good. Huge hole in the defense, that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting through it. To the paint. Here's Harris and slam dunk by Harris. Oh my goodness, Gary Harris off his feet in a hurry, leaves no doubt. And Hayes kicks to Prince. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Back to Hachimura. Got a piece of it. Dinwiddie outside. Two minutes remaining. Just five to shoot. Two minutes. 
And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Personal foul. Third team foul. Greg, looking at the history of the Lakers, they always feel they're a title contender. And they've been to the finals in every decade. Their longest championship drought in L.A., just 12 years. So, to me, the best franchise in NBA history. That one is off. And the second free throw, good. You know, he doesn't shrink the lead as much as he should have. That hurts a bit. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 16-5 run. It's tipped. Wagner passes to Carter. Off target from outside. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And Dinwiddie with the basket on the assist by Hachimura. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Magic. You don't see this kind of a blowout offer, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out to this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Paolo Bancaro. Every time he shot it, it seemed like it was going to drop in. And if it didn't, everyone was surprised. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Paolo Boncaro, a guy who not only has the frame, but he's got the mind and the work habits to be great in this league. Can't wait to watch. Hachimura, no good. Orlando's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. Prince against Wagner. And it's in there. Convincing lead with very little time remaining, and the fans are pumped. And they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Van Carroll with the ball. And Hachimura picks him up defensively. Harris against Dinwiddie. Harris, good! Harris. Oh my goodness, how composed is Gary Harris on a difficult drive and finish. Wow! Out to the right wing. Here's Hachimura, and it's sent back by Carter. Van Caro dishes to Black. Out to Harris. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.